All right, friends, continuing with a theme of tools that you have available to you in Lumio, I've gone back to my Google Drive. I've gone back to my Google Drive and I'm gonna take my George Washington Carver Lumio lesson and I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna select open with Lumio. Now, when I right click and select open with, it's gonna put me into editing mode. If I double click on the file in Google, it is going to, um, it is going to open it, the lesson like it's delivering it. So um, just a, a quick note there. So this should, uh-oh, technical difficulty. Let me try it again, open with Lumio. Right click, open with Lumio. I'm stressing my internet this morning. So um, it should put me into editing mode if it doesn't. I can go up here to the top left-hand corner in that hamburger menu and select edit lesson, edit lesson. And you'll see there's the shout it out I created in the last video, right? So I just want to quickly remind you of all of the activities that you have that you can add to this lesson. So if I go down to the bottom left-hand corner, that blue plus sign, Remember, here's where you could add other content that you have. If you had another PDF file or a notebook file that you wanted to merge together in this lesson, you could do this, do that, or uh, the YouTube video or new page. There's your shout it out, there's response, and here's all your game-based activities. So remember, all of these games live there. I'm just gonna do one really quick one and I'm gonna do rank order. But all of the games work the same way. The template is built and you simply add the content. So let's say we're doing days of the week. Days of the week, I just type in the content. Just type in whatever order I want it in, right? And then over on uh, the right-hand side, I have some options like, when do I want those answers checked? Instantly means every single entry or touch by your students. When prompted is at the end of the game or don't check at all. And you could put in ranking labels as well as you want it, if you wanted to. You select a theme and then click finish. And then you can even preview your game. So that is how you add. Uh, so if I drag and drop, you'll see once I get them all right. Now, remember, I selected at the end, at the end, if I had selected every answer, he would be shooting and either scoring or missing on every try. So it is a great way to infuse games into your lesson. And again, I just went into editing. I went to the blue plus sign and I selected game-based activities. So a great way to add a lot of really cool, fun stuff to your activities.